Morning. Good morning. I don't know why she's giggling. I do know why I'm giggling. Somebody's <laughs> making me laugh this morning, but it's all good. That's right. Happy Friday. I know. Way. We made it to Friday again. Yay. You know what I didn't do, love? Keep what talking. What did you Keep do? Uh-oh. Oh, you just did it to make sure we don't pixelate. Right. Very cool. Yes. So just give me a second and I will do that. Can you talk? I'll talk about my workout. First. Okay. Um, I did back today. Um, had a decent workout, so that was nice. Um, had a chat, a little chat with some other ladies that were in there. I saw, yeah. Um, at the end, somebody came up to talk to me about eating plants. Actually, he didn't want to talk to me about eating plants. He wanted to defend eating meat. Which right. Was a strange thing to come totally, up to talk to me about. Totally a different subject. <laughs> which was kind of funny, but you know that's fine. Whatever. Um, how was your workout? What did you do today? Today was leg day. And, and you I, told me you got all... Uh, what did I say if I was done? <laughs> that you had jello legs. So yes, my legs are going to be complaining for the next couple of days. <laughs> yep, absolutely. So, but you yeah. had a good workout. Yes, yes. I did 13 sets of leg presses. I know you're not shocked. That's just ridiculous. Um, yeah, and then did some squatting today, which I haven't done in a while. So that's definitely... That's going to make you sore. My legs are going to be like, hey, what's going on here? Mm -hmm. And then I you know, finished up, but it was good. You know, it, it was... It was, it was Reasonably quiet in the gym today. It was. When I got there, before you came into the back, it was like me and two other people. That was it. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. What do you have for breakfast? I'm going to go with oatmeal. Although I went back to blueberries today. Yesterday I had raisins. I'm going to have blueberries and raisins in my oatmeal today. And we've already had um, figs today. We had figs. Before we went to the gym. Mm -hmm. And we're now chewing on cashews. Mm-hmm. Yummy stuff. So I wanted to talk a little bit about fruit today. I posted an article... I don't know, earlier in the week about fruit and that, you know, a lot of, there's a lot of people who say that they don't eat fruit because of the sugar in it. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to give you a little bit of information about it. I'm, um, this is from the book, How Not to Die. We showed you that yesterday by Dr. Greger. And um, so he would, he explains that if you drink soda or if you drink, he, he says in tests, what they do is they have people drink a glass of water with three tablespoons of sugar in it, which simulates soda, that your blood sugars, Spike, obviously, you'd expect to be that. expected, right? And then what your body does is it dumps insulin into your system to be able to address that sugar. Right. But it overshoots. And so then you end up, in the first hour, you've got this high blood sugar spike. Right. But then in the second hour, because you end up with so much insulin in your blood, then you get hypoglycemic. And in the second hour, your, your blood sugar actually drops below where it would be if you were actually legitimately fasting. Right which then makes your body believe that you're in a famine situation, which is different than fasting, right? So famine is long-term lack of food. F you know, fasting, particularly intermittent fasting that you do on purpose, is the short term. So the, it, the way your body responds to it is very different. Right. So then he, he goes on to explain how when you eat whole fruit, that your body responds differently. And then it seems like the, the fiber and the other um, nutrients in the fruit dull your body's reaction right. and make the insulin response more appropriate. So you can eat, go ahead. Yeah, it's another case where when you eat something in its natural form, right. your body deals with it the way it's supposed to deal with it. When you extract something and, and concentrate it and put it in the, and then put it into something, you know, it does something different. It does something different. Right. And then they did another study where, they gave people fruit, whole fruit, but then actually put sugar on it to see if they got the same response as you know the fruit plus the sugar. Uh -huh. And it seemed that the the fruit actually dulled the body's insulin response to the sugar. So before you drink soda, eat some fruit. <laughs> Is that what we're getting to here? I guess if you're gonna drink soda, that's one <laughs> so way. There you go. If you're gonna drink soda, that's what I meant. eat some fruit first. <laughs> Don't think that's what I meant. I don't think that's what he means either. I think no. he's just pointing out the the, um, right. the evidence behind it. Yeah. Right. So it, he's saying that consuming the sugar in fruit, in fruit, not the sugar by itself, but actually in fruit, is not only harmless but is actually helpful. Right. So that's an interesting way to look at it. That you shouldn't avoid fruit because you're concerned about the sugar, because the sugar that's in fruit doesn't respond in your body the same way that just regular table right, sugar right. or the sugar you find in soda or the sugar you find in processed food and it, does. And it's important to say again, because you already said it, is your body does need sugar. It just doesn't need refined sugar. Right, and it's unfortunate, I think, that we use the same word. Yes. I and wish there was a different yes. way to talk about it. It would make it a lot easier if there right? was a different word. It would be so much easier to talk right. about if the sugars that we find in starches mm -hmm. and fruits mm -hmm. and whole foods right. had a different word 
than the sugar that we eat that's table sugar that's right. been processed and pressed and of course the sugar industry is very happy that that's the way it's, it's right because and that, that might be why it's terminology you know it's no different yeah I, I i wish there was a different way to talk about it mm -hmm. because it's such there's such different foods one well i guess one is food and the other is not even food right so I, I wish there was a different way to talk about it but this says that um you can if you eat if you eat fruit it's so i'm going to actually read you the, the quote here the intake of fruit should not be restricted in patients with type 2 diabetes. That's the quote from the study where they found that it, it actually does good things for blood sugar, not bad things. Right. Whereas obviously straight sugar, pastries. Yes. If you have diabetes, don't drink soda. Right. That stuff, right. that stuff is really hard because it makes your body do the spikes with the insulin. Right. So let's see if there's anything else. If there's anything else in here I wanted to add. Because there's a, a whole section in here pages of uh about fruit and sugar so there's a lot, a lot of things about you know cholesterol lowering um and that it, it's just good for you whole well, food whole food is good yes, for you yes. it's just and, is the bottom line and they can and he can and he does you can always circle back at the end of all of these things and by the way whole food right is nutritious and it's gonna help your body heal itself and you're going to have a healthier life if you just stick with it. Right. I said that to someone yesterday. Someone asked me a question about a specific um, health challenge that he was having. And I said, you know, I can't speak to that specifically. I don't have the knowledge to address it specifically. But what I can tell you is that your body's preferred state is health. Right. And if you fuel your body correctly and, you know, as well as possible with lots of fruits and vegetables, then your body's going to have its best chance at creating health. Right. So there, we've said before, you can't go wrong eating whole foods. Right. I, you know, and you can't say it enough, which is why I'm going to say it again. Right. The body is a miraculous machine. I mean, all it ever wants to do is constantly heal itself. Mm -hmm. It's when we put things into it that prevent it from healing itself that diseases become more rapid. Right. Quite honestly, if everybody ate healthy, and that can be, there's different levels of eating healthy. It doesn't have to be 100%. It doesn't have to be 100% whole food, but, it, but you know, it's all about percentages. Mm -hmm. um, we'd probably put the pharmaceutical, pharmaceutical business, you know, companies out of business. You think they go out of business? Well, either that or they'd actually start researching and finding ways to cure disease instead of just treat the symptoms. I think some of the medicine they come up with is useful. Every doctor in, in this whole food plant-based spectrum says that. They said medicine, you know, Medication has, has its place, and that's absolutely essential in our society. And I don't disagree with that. I just think that if, if more people were conscious about what they're doing to their body, that the type of the type of drugs out there that are multi-billion-dollar drugs wouldn't be right. You know, so or they'd be a much smaller industry. They'd be a much smaller industry, right? Yeah. So since we're we're you know talking about fruit, I thought we'd also have a, a quick discussion about the organic versus non-organic and. How do you clean vegetables? Should you be dunking them, you know, in acetone right. to get the pesticides well, This off? is interesting. The last solution you found <laughs> is actually very interesting. So the first, I guess the first thing is there's a whole section in here, and is it worth it to buy organic? And we've said before, the three things you should absolutely buy organic if you can are wheat, corn, and soy, because they are, there's a huge percentage of them, like in the 98% of them are GMO, right. which means that they're Roundup ready, which, which means they live by having, they can, you can spray Roundup on them and they live anyway. And they are loaded with, you know, pesticides and herbicides and stuff. So if you, if you do nothing else, corn, wheat, soy, buy those organic. Right. As far as other fruits and vegetables go, organic pro produce has, can be up to 20 to 40% healthier. Um, because the antioxidant levels in it are, are higher is what he's saying in this book. But he says, don't decide not to eat them because you're worried that they're not organic. That's right. not a reason to choose to eat something other than fruits and vegetables. If you can eat organic, do, do it. it. If you can't, then don't worry about it. And that's the exactly. way we view it. That's like, the way we do it, yes. You know, our, our peppers, our bell peppers, we struggle to find good quality organic ones. And so we right. end up buying just the regular ones from Costco. And, right. That's what we eat because it's better than not. Right, exactly. So that's important. But so how do you wash them? This is the part that I find. Yeah, this is so this is an interesting thing. It says that 
R rinsing your fruit under running water does something, but not really very much. Even if you scrub it, it's not going to really do a whole lot as far as reducing um, pesticides. pesticides. It says it removes less than half of the pesticide residue to just use uh, right. regular water. So um, it does say that if you use acetone, it gets all of the <laughs> pesticides off. But of course, then it adds a different toxicity that's right. even worse for you. Right. So don't wash your fruit in acetone. Don't that doesn't do it. make sense. Just use it on your nails. Right, exactly. Don't even that. Even that. It even gets that. in your bloodstream. Right. Um, so then he says, you know, what about if you use plain white vinegar? And he says that has been found to reduce the bulk of pesticide in its full form. If you dilute right. the vinegar with water, then it doesn't really do that much more than just plain water. Right. So you could wash it in full strength plain white vinegar, but that's going to get expensive right. to yes. be buying that much vinegar and then basically dumping it down the drain. So he came up with an interesting solution that works. He said a 10% salt water rinse has found to work as well as full strength vinegar. So that means mix um, nine parts water to one part salt. Right. And salt is pretty cheap. Um, you know, you don't have to buy any kind of fancy salt. It doesn't just have salt. to be Himalayan salt. Right. It could just be plain salt. So 10% salt water and make your own pesticide reducing bath. Um, rinse, rinse your fruits and vegetables in it and it'll get most of the pesticides off. And then he says, rinse it in clear water to remove the, the salt residue. Right. So I think that that's what we're gonna start a, yeah, doing. Yeah, I think that's an awesome solution. Um, we've, we've been, we do wash berries and um, grapes often in, in a vinegar solution. solution. Mostly that's to stop the bacteria that makes them rot. Right, exactly, because that's diluted. Right, you know? it's not about the pesticides, it's about bacteria. Right. So I'm guessing the salt would actually do that as well. Right. So I think that's so what we'll do. From we're going to start doing that. And obviously we have better luck with our fruit not spoiling in the winter because it's colder. Right. In the summer when it gets warm and humid in the house, fruit spoils pretty quickly, even in the fridge. So we'll have to let you guys know how, how the salt water works. But that's what he says is if you rinse it in a, a 10 to 10, 9 to 1, 10 percent salt water solution, and then rinse the salt off that it right. removes the pesticides right. as well as as straight vinegar right which is awesome i don't think it's that difficult to do mm -hmm. and, and it's taking away the pesticides so it's a it's a you know yeah. it gets a gold star you have to see if we can buy salt in bulk well yes the way we buy it now is too i think it's too expensive but we can probably buy the bags I mean, you get the bags from you know safeway you don't have to get them from costco but they, they, sell, they sell salt in bags yeah they sell them in like like you know five pound uh huh. we'll have to look for yeah. that i've never seen five pound bag of salt yeah I've seen five pound bags of sugar. Yeah, well you have. <laughs> so, yeah, so that's what we have to say today. Um, eat your fruits and veggies. Don't worry about the sugar in them. Right. They're not, it's not the same sugar and it doesn't respond to your body the same way that the, that table sugar does or the sugar that you find in soda and processed food. So go ahead and eat them and buy organic when you can and always, and wash them in a salt water solution and that should get whatever pesticides or anything that's on it off and then right. rinse them with clear water. That's awesome. That's it. That's, that's some easy. good stuff. Good stuff to take you into the weekend. Good morning, Tim. Good it's morning, good to Tim. see you. Um, so yeah, I think we're done. That's it for today? Yeah, just have to say, if you're getting value out of these, please do like and share. Share our page, check out our website. It has lots of recipes and more information and we post a lot of resources on there. If you want more information, we post them both um, on the Facebook page and on our website, rnrjourney.com. Right. And we're excited to uh, be moving forward with this and helping people on their path to health. Right. Only people who want to be on it. Only if you don't yes. want to be on it, yeah, I'm not yes. dragging this, this you This is a volunteer. <laughs> <laughs> volunteer situation. Right, exactly. And, so. and also, um, if there's things you'd like to find, information you're looking for that you haven't been able to found or you want our opinions of it, please share it and we will uh, do the best we can to um, look it up to look it up find. and find out information. We will present actual information. We won't make stuff up and say this is our opinion. No, <laughs> we'll, we'll look at look at the science for right, you. Exactly. So I right. think that's all. Okay, so with that we will say, first of all, have a fantastic weekend. Um, and while you're having a great weekend, make sure that you eat real food, not too much, mostly, mostly plants. plants. Have we'll a great see you day, on guys. Monday.